In this video we are going to show you an experiment about induction. First of all we will show you all components which are needed for this experiment. We start off with the power supply and an amp meter which is needed to measure the induced current. Additionally we use a coil which will act as a solenoid. At the end we will see what happens if we add an iron core to the solenoid. Let's begin with one loop of our wire around the solenoid. By turning on the solenoid we create a magnetic field which inducts a current flow in our wire. The wire is not connected to any other power supply, but we are still able to see a current flow due to the changing magnetic field in our solenoid. As we can see a current of 15.4 microamps is measured. Now we turn off the power supply and look what happens. Now we can see a measured current of minus 11.2 microamps. The minus sign indicates the direction of the current flow. By changing the magnetic field again we have induced a current which flows in the opposite direction. Now we take a look what happens if we enlarge the loop around our magnet. In this case the measured current should stay nearly the same, but we have to consider some small losses because we are working with low current. In the next case we wrap our wire two times around our solenoid. Now we can see that the induced current doubles. As promised we finally show what effects an iron core can have on the induced current. As a consequence of the iron core we have an increased magnetic field, so that the induced current increased from 30 microamps to over 200 microamps.